All right, folks, check it out. Rob Gill, founder of Epic Financial Strategies. And today we're going to talk about how you could take control of your money and beating the rigged financial game. And what's important to understand is there's forces at play that are against you and want your money every day, all day, and twice on Sunday. And there's very innovative ways for them to be able to get your money. For example, if you understand how the system actually works and you understand that, okay, we now have artificial intelligence. We now have really these some of these trading markets that... They're ahead of everybody else when they could buy and sell any kind of trade faster than anybody else. And as a result of it, these little micro moves put more money in other people's pockets or other institutions than yours. So what we're here to talk about is how you could kind of play in the system of the rig game, be able to live the life that you want to live by understanding you're going to invest in the real estate between your ears and make sure that you're putting yourself with people that have been there, done that, all on the same page for your benefit, where everything could be monitored, everything could be measured. So when you make decisions based on logic, math, and science, not emotional timidity, what's going to happen is all of a sudden you'll be able to come to my beach house for the week. You never know. Mm -hmm. It's right here. We're right here on the ocean. Because what I did successfully is I'm smart enough to realize I'm not that smart. So I put people around me that are way smarter than I am. But because I'm a level five listener and I'm really good at coordinating people, what begins to happen is you put yourself in a position to prosper. And by giving up control and learn how you could really be able to understand, it's not like I want to go keep up with the Joneses because I don't even know where the Joneses live anymore. It's how can I put myself in a position to work with folks that understand my goals and objectives, understand exactly what my relationship with money is. Because listen, my parents, I love them. They handed me down a money scarcity mindset. What is that? We run out of money on the 20th of every month. Oh, you can't buy this. You can't do that. Although they told me in life I could do whatever I want, their actions that I saw every day were the opposite. So, you know, when you're young and you're coming up, you don't realize that, wait a minute, mom and dad said I could do whatever I want, but mom and dad couldn't get out of their own way financially. And I love them. I love them with all my heart and soul. The point is, I'm sure someone like you, you're watching this right now, you're going through that. And it's really important to be able to know that, wait, if it is to be, it's up to me. Yes, YouTube University gives you the chance to really be able to look and see what's happening right now. You could find some avatars that really kind of resonate with your heart and put yourself in a position to start listening. Don't go sell your IRA out and go buy Bitcoin because somebody said that you're going to make a million dollars. Or don't go sell your IRA to go buy a piece of real estate because it's going to be worth two million thirty 30 years from now. That's just silly nonsense. What you want to be able to do is make sure that you understand who you're working with, how it's connected to your core values, I said that earlier, and then put yourself in a position to prosper. So let's talk about how you overcome fear. It's a gift, by the way, I'll talk about that in a second, and leap towards your destiny, leap towards your dreams. Well, fear is nothing but a nervous system reaction to a fight or flight mentality because you're scared of something, very normal. M money has a charge, money makes you feel a certain way, but if you really think about it, money's a piece of paper with dead presidents. And, the bigger the stack is, if it's hundreds and thousands or whatever, the more money you have. But the truth is, what money really is, is a mindset. Money allows you to do what you want, when you want, how you want, with who you want. And if you divorce yourself emotionally from money and realize that if you do the right thing, it's for leverage purposes, if you help humanity, if you contribute and serve, contribute and serve, contribute and serve, now what begins to happen is if you turn fear and flip it into pleasure. So pain, pleasure, right? Pain of of missing out pleasure of enjoying something. So now if you can make money a pleasurable experience, not because you get to buy something, because by the way, if you buy something, you could buy a nice car, you could buy a nice house. This is a nice house right here, right? But it doesn't mean anything other than a view. It's what I did to get to this point to rent this house for the week. So it's a mindset. Now my kids get to bring their friends. I got my, my film crew here. We're working right now because we wanna keep pushing content. And by understanding fear and stepping into your dreams, which basically means if you could crush fear, crush distortion, replace it by stepping into dreams and outcomes, how do you do it? You ask yourself a different question. You surround yourself with the top five that have been there, done that, that have a proven track record. So when you put yourself in a position to prosper, these five can give you good guidance. These five can put you in a direction of like, hey, Rob, you may wanna do this or you may not wanna do that. And here's why, because when I did this, it didn't work, but when I did that, it worked out tremendously. That's why they talk about a group of people that can really a mastermind, people that can help you take that next step forward. So we want to crush fear and distortion. We want to embrace dreams and outcomes. How do we do it? Ask ourselves a different question. Surround ourselves with the top five. And oh, by the way, 
Make sure we understand what our relationship with money is, because if that mindset works in your favor, you'll be amazed at the compound effect of how exponentiality will work in your favor. And the last thing I want to talk about is rethinking traditional financial methods. What does that mean? Well, you know, do you know how to trade time for money? What does that mean? If I work a nine to five, a lot of you folks may have mom and dads that work nine to five, right? That means during the nine to five, that's the money they can make. But what about the nine to five parents that work nine to five, but have five different investment properties? Well, now they're replacing time, right? So now, because these rental properties are growing in value and they're producing rental income, that's an additional income to the family while the value of the real estate is continuing to grow. So that's what we talk about. You can still work a nine to five. You can still get your overtime in. However, if you start to play in the space of using these other opportunities to really begin to earn income, both passive as well as your active income, you're going to put yourself and your family into a proper mindset and really be, really be able to put money back in your pocket where it belongs. And we always want to be able to understand what the traditional financial vehicles are. I'm not here to say that a 401k and IRA is bad. And I don't like when people say, oh, 401k and IRA is bad. But here's what's important to know. Here's why it's challenging. Because every dollar you put in goes in with pre-tax dollars. It grows and comes back, but it gets taxed at ordinary income, right? So pre-tax, then it gets taxed at ordinary income. So an IRA or a 401k does not have disability benefits. It limits your investment choices, although in an IRA, you could create a self-directed IRA, which allows you to buy real estate or other alternatives. But remember, if you buy real estate inside an IRA, it's still going to be subjected to ordinary income taxes. You're not going to be able to get the mortgage interest right off or the depreciation. It's important you know that. So from an IRA and a 401k standpoint, yes, if you're making good money and you want to go up to where the employer is going to match or you want to do your own self-directed or a simpler or traditional IRA, that's fine as long as you know that every dollar is in jail and then it goes in probation in the form of taxation on the distribution unless, it's, unless it says Roth behind it. Now, if you have that, but now all of a sudden you have rental, real estate, other alternative investments, and by the way, you understand why it's important to save 15 to 20% of every single paycheck, well, now you're living in a different space of financial freedom. What is financial freedom? Once again, to do what you want, when you want, how you want, with who you want, without any money or time constraints. What you want, when you want, how you want, with who you want, without any money or time constraints. In other words, oh, I can't do it this week, I gotta wait till I get paid next week. You wanna make sure that at the end of every month, there's money left over, and you had saved along the way and, and made some contributions as well. And then the last but not least, take control of your mindset when it comes to alternative investments. For example, you know, I have multiple businesses, three of them are over seven figures. We just found out one of them is eight figures. Just found out one of them is eight figures. I wanna give a shout out to all my partners. But with that, what do I do? Well, hey, I got Danny and Parker here right now. I may deploy, I don't know, 100, two, 300,000 into social media. What does that mean? I can measure, was it worth it? How would it be worth it? Well, did I sell books? Did I sell tripwires? Did we get appointments? Did we get revenues? That's how you can measure it. You may wanna say, listen, there's a business around the corner. It's really good. The economy went south and they don't know how to close a door, meaning they can't sell. Let me go in and help train the sales team. I'll own 10% of the company and split the profits past a certain benchmark that they've achieved before I showed up. That's another way of, of being able to be innovative when it comes to that. And last but not least, you wanna finance your own debt just the way a bank would do. You wanna be able to get multiple uses of each and every dollar. And by doing this, you'll put yourself in a position to prosper. Anyway, I'm babbling. Go ahead, click the link below. One of the team members here at Epic will take you through the success process. If you have any questions or if there's any other videos you want me to do, please put it here. I'll make sure that I do that video. I'll answer any question. But in the meantime, there's no obligation on your part. One of these members will sit down, go through the Epic Financial Freedom Map so you can make the right decisions when it comes to what your core values are and who you want to work with and how you position your money going forward. Thanks for checking us out.